Number 1. Have an operation. It means to undergo a medical surgical procedure. My aunt will have an operation tomorrow. My aunt will have an operation tomorrow. He's nervous to have an operation soon. He's nervous to have an operation soon. She had an operation on her knee. She had an operation on her knee. Number 2. Have a meeting. It means to attend a planned discussion with others. We have a meeting with the team. We have a meeting with the team. She has a meeting at noon today. She has a meeting at noon today. He's preparing to have a meeting later. He's preparing to have a meeting later. Number 3. Have an appointment. It means to have a scheduled meeting, often professional. I have an appointment with the dentist. I have an appointment with the dentist. She has an appointment at the salon. She has an appointment at the salon. They have an appointment with the lawyer. They have an appointment with the lawyer. Number 4. Have an interview. It means to have a formal meeting, often for a job. He has an interview for a job today. He has an interview for a job today. I'm nervous to have an interview tomorrow. I'm nervous to have an interview tomorrow. She dressed up to have her interview. She dressed up to have her interview. Number 5. Have contact with. It means to communicate or interact with someone. They often have contact with customers. They often have contact with customers. I rarely have contact with my neighbors. I rarely have contact with my neighbors. She likes to have contact with friends. She likes to have contact with friends. Number 11. Get along with. It means to have a friendly relationship with someone. I get along with my roommates very well. I get along with my roommates very well. She doesn't get along with her brother. She doesn't get along with her brother. They get along with all their neighbors. They get along with all their neighbors. Number 12. Get excited. It means to feel very enthusiastic or eager about something. The children get excited about going to the zoo. The children get excited about going to the zoo. He got excited when he heard the good news. He got excited when he heard the good news. She gets excited whenever she talks about art. She gets excited whenever she talks about art. Number 13. Get home. It means to arrive at one's place of residence. What time do you usually get home from work? What time do you usually get home from work? He got home late after the office party. He got home late after the office party. She got home early to cook dinner. She got home early to cook dinner. Number 14. Get together. It means to meet and spend time with each other. Let's get together for lunch this weekend. Let's get together for lunch this weekend. 
They get together for a game night often. They get together for a game night often. Can we get together to discuss the project? Can we get together to discuss the project? Number 15. Get a headache from. It means to begin to suffer pain in one's head caused by stress, noise, etc. Loud music often makes me get a headache. Loud music often makes me get a headache. She got a headache from staring at the screen. She got a headache from staring at the screen. He got a headache from all the stress at work. He got a headache from all the stress at work. Number 11. Get along with. It means to have a friendly relationship with someone. I get along with my roommates very well. I get along with my roommates very well. She doesn't get along with her brother. She doesn't get along with her brother. They get along with all their neighbors. They get along with all their neighbors. Number 12. Get excited. It means to feel very enthusiastic or eager about something. The children get excited about going to the zoo. The children get excited about going to the zoo. He got excited when he heard the good news. He got excited when he heard the good news. She gets excited whenever she talks about art. She gets excited whenever she talks about art. Number 13. Get home. It means to arrive at one's place of residence. What time do you usually get home from work? What time do you usually get home from work? He got home late after the office party. He got home late after the office party. She got home early to cook dinner. She got home early to cook dinner. Number 14. Get together. It means to meet and spend time with each other. Let's get together for lunch this weekend. Let's get together for lunch this weekend. They get together for a game night often. They get together for a game night often. Can we get together to discuss the project? Can we get together to discuss the project? Number 15. Get a headache from. It means to begin to suffer pain in one's head caused by stress, noise, etc. Loud music often makes me get a headache. Loud music often makes me get a headache. She got a headache from staring at the screen. She got a headache from staring at the screen. He got a headache from all the stress at work. He got a headache from all the stress at work. Number 16. Make fun of. It means to laugh at someone or something in a mean way. It's not kind to make fun of people. It's not kind to make fun of people. The kids made fun of his funny hat. The kids made fun of his funny hat. She hates when others make fun of her. She hates when others make fun of her. Number 17. Make an example. It means to use someone or something as a model or warning. The coach made an example of the disciplined player. The coach made an example of the disciplined player. 
He was made an example of for being late. He was made an example of for being late. Teachers often make examples of good student work. Teachers often make examples of good student work. Number 18. Make a noise. It means to create sound, often loud or disturbing. Please don't make a noise during the movie. Please don't make a noise during the movie. The old fridge tends to make a noise. The old fridge tends to make a noise. The children were making a noise in the yard. The children were making a noise in the yard. Number 19. Make a mistake. It means to do something wrong or incorrectly. Everyone can make a mistake sometimes. Everyone can make a mistake sometimes. She made a mistake in her email. She made a mistake in her email. He realized he made a mistake on the form. He realized he made a mistake on the form. Number 20. Make a reservation. It means to arrange in advance to have a place held. I need to make a reservation for dinner. I need to make a reservation for dinner. They made a reservation for their anniversary. They made a reservation for their anniversary. Did you make a reservation for the flight? Did you make a reservation for the flight? Number 21. Do the washing. It means meaning to wash clothes or linens. I have to do the washing this afternoon. I have to do the washing this afternoon. Can you do the washing while I'm out? Can you do the washing while I'm out? She does the washing every weekend. She does the washing every weekend. Number 22. Do research. It means to study a subject in detail to find new information. You must do research for your essay. You must do research for your essay. He's doing research on renewable energy. He's doing research on renewable energy. They did research before buying the car. They did research before buying the car. Number 23. Do the shopping. It means to buy things you need, usually groceries. I'll do the shopping for our groceries. I'll do the shopping for our groceries. Can you do the shopping this evening? Can you do the shopping this evening? She did the shopping for the entire week. She did the shopping for the entire week. Number 24. Do laundry. It means to wash the clothes. Tomorrow is my day to do laundry. Tomorrow is my day to do laundry. He's doing laundry before going out tonight. He's doing laundry before going out tonight. She did laundry early in the morning. She did laundry early in the morning. Number 25. Do homework. It means to complete school assignments. The children do homework after school. The children do homework after school. She's doing homework for math class. She's doing homework for math class. I have to do homework before TV. 
I have to do homework before TV.